what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix error enabled to launch jdf5.exe due to lack of privileges on the game library directory if you have rdr2 or jdf5 and you're trying to play the games in your steam or rockstar launcher or epic games launcher so you can fix the error so how to fix it let's get started Solution number one, close your Steam completely and go to steam.exe file. Right click and open file location. And this is my Steam. Right click and go to properties. Go to compatibility. And go to change settings for all users or check this box. Apply. Click here and uncheck this box. Check this box and apply and OK. And make sure this box is unchecked. And OK. Close it. So after this, if you are facing another error for Steam, then right click and go to properties, compatibility and uncheck this box and apply and OK. But we need this option this time. Apply, OK and OK. Solution number two, go to this PC, open it, and go to Documents, and go to Rockstar Games folder, right click and rename it, tap here, this one, old, press enter, if this does not work, then right click again, and rename, and tap here, in small words, press enter. Close it, and if you're still facing the issue, then go to this PC, go to Documents, right click and rename, and type here Rockstar Games in big words, and OK. Solution number three if you are on Rockstar Game Launcher, then go to Rockstar Game Launcher, right click and go to Properties, Compatibility, and Uncheck this box and change settings for all users. Check this box and uncheck it and uh, click on apply and OK or check this box. Apply, OK and apply and OK. So you can use this method for Epic Launcher. Now go to install game location of your GDF5 or ARIA2. Go to GDF5.exe launcher or rda2.exe file, I mean application file. I am giving an example, go to the gdf5.exe file, right click and go to properties. Do as I say in this video, go to compatibility and go to change settings for our users. Check this box and OK. You need these settings for your gdf5.exe in the directory of the GDF5 or ARIA2 and OK. Solution number four, go to your location where your GDF5 is stored. Go to properties of the GDF5.exe. Go to compatibility and turn on the run this program as administrator and select Windows 8 or 7. In my case, Windows 8 is workable. Now I give you an example. Do as I say, right click, properties, compatibility, check this box and select Windows 7, apply and OK. If this does not work, then right click, go to properties, compatibility and select Windows 8, apply and OK. Do as I say with your gdf5.exe file in the directory of the game gdf5 or aria2. But don't do with your launcher. Right click, properties, application compatibility, uncheck this box because uh, Rockstar Games Launcher does not support Windows 8 and 7. Apply and OK. Solution number four right click and go to properties and compatibility and go to change settings for all users uncheck this box, uncheck it, and uncheck it, apply OK, and uncheck this box, and OK. Go to Stream, 
and properties and compatibility uncheck this box apply ok ok solution number five go to your game folder and delete mods folder from your game directory i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you if you like then please subscribe the channel thanks for watching